Hello, welcome to this video series on MDX for SQL developers. I'm Nasser Ali Mirza at DoSQLBI.com. This video series covers the building of the MDX language skills in the SQL developers. In the previous session, we had a high level look at OLTP and OLAP database in comparison. In this video, we will take a look at MDX terminology. We'll see what is meant by dimension, major group, attribute, what do we mean by children, members, tuple, tuple set, sets, access, hierarchy, and level, and what is a major's dimension. I have a connection open to the AdventureWorks DW 2012 OLAP DB, and we'll take a look at what are the dimensions in this uh, OLAP DB. You see, uh, it has a list of dimensions starting with account, customer, date, and many more. Dimensions are like lookup tables of OLTP database. They are built from one or more source tables. For example, product uh, dimension is created from product, product category, and product subcategory table in the OLTP database. Dimensions contain attributes. We also call them as attribute hierarchies. So attribute category, model name, large photo, product, subcategory. Some of the attributes have been put under a folder view just to categorize them. So you have a financial under that there are dealer price, list price, standard cost. Similarly there is history. Other than attributes there are user defined hierarchies. You see product category here, product model lines. We'll be covering later what are these user defined hierarchies and related concepts. Each attribute contains a distinct list of values. For example, in product dimension category attribute, its distinct values or members are accessories, bikes, clothing, components. After looking at what are dimensions, which are like lookup tables in OLTP database, let us see what are major groups. So what is a major? Transaction tables in OLTP database contain the transaction data in various columns. Those columns in OLAP database become majors, which can be grouped into different major groups. In the sample database that we are looking at, under majors, we see a list of major groups starting with exchange rate, financial reporting, internet customers, internet orders, and so on. These major groups correspond to the OLTP database transaction tables mostly. Let's take a look at one of the major group. Uh, you see internet sales here contains a list of majors its uh, example is internet sales amount, internet freight cost, internet tax amount. So these are various majors. There are some calculated majors like internet gross profit, growth in customer base. These are calculated majors. Earlier in this, in the earlier session, we saw in the MDX query structure, you can define calculated member. So these are those calculated members. In the later sessions, we'll see how to create them and how to use them. Each of the major group in the OLAP database will have a well-defined relationship with the dimensions in the OLAP database. That relationship is defined as part of the OLAP database designing. After taking a look at dimensions and major groups, we'll now see what are attributes, children, and members. Let me switch over to SQL Server Management Studio. So what are attributes? Attributes are like columns in a table in OLTP database. Let's take a look at this geography dimension. There are two types of attributes. Attribute hierarchies and user defined attribute. In this geography dimension, geography attribute is a user defined hierarchy and rest of them, city, country, postal code, state, province are attributes or attribute hierarchies. The way column in an OLTP database contains one or more values. 
similarly attribute will have one or more values let's see what are the different values of a country attribute so we see names of different countries here every attribute will have a single level in its hierarchy so in a country attribute it has only one level you see when I hover over this I see level equal to country so country attribute has a one level as country every attribute will also have one system added data member with the name all at the design time we can decide whether we want this member to be added or not to be added by default it's added in a SQL query you can reference a column name and then pull all its values in MDX query you can do same you can uh, refer the attribute name and pull all the data values in that but it also supports referring any particular data member of an attribute directly and in fact it supports it in two ways you can access it with the key name of that uh, data member of an attribute or you can refer it with the name of that uh, data member in an attribute let's see this United States as one of the data member how we can access uh, various ways the attributes of a dimension so in dimension geography I have a country attribute I can access it with the attribute name so geography dot country I can access it with adding a suffix dot children what that is will cover um, in a while you can access it again with the attribute name dot members we can access a particular member data value that's United States here with a key now when you refer that with a key you add this M percent and then the key name you can also access that data member with its name so the name of that data member is what you see here as United States it apparently looks we have it similar but they can be different so way to identify whether you are accessing it with key or a name is that you will have this M percent before the key let us see what is the difference between using children and members let's see that in a query I have two queries one where I am accessing country attribute of a geogra geography dimension with children the same query where I am accessing that attribute with the members let's run it one by one what I see as a output is the name of the countries and beneath that default major values now I run the other one which is with members what do you see the difference this all geographies so I again get the same list name of all the countries beneath it the default mem uh, fact major value all geographies so so the difference is when I use children I don't get the all default member and if I use members I get all the attribute values including the all member that is added by the system in the design that has been mentioned so after taking a look at what is attribute children and members we'll talk about what is a tuple what is a tuple set what is set and what is excess in a SQL statement we put columns from one or more tables into a statement similarly in an MDX query we put together one or more attributes from one or more dimensions that makes a tuple let me switch to SQL management studio and we see an example I had this query already written let us concentrate on this part it starts with an open curly bracket and close curly bracket on axis one we'll talk about it when we talk about sets then inside that there is open bracket and closing bracket think of this as a what we put in SQL statement the list of columns after the select keyword this is a tuple and this tuple contains two attributes country and category and country I am directly referring to Australia and category I am directly referring to accessories so this we say is a tuple with two attributes one of them being country 
another being category on another axis i have another tuple where i am referring to major's dimension reseller sales amount let us run this query the output we get is says you know country name is australia where the accessories reseller sales amount is this particular figure let us see another example i have that query written here this is another query which has a tuple again it uses two attributes country and category similarly there is on another axis another attribute which is referring majors reseller sales amount now let me run this mdx query the difference between the earlier one and this one is i see multiple rows as an output so to say this tuple here where i am referring country attribute and category attribute country attribute i am using children so it is going to return all the data members in a country attribute i get multiple rows as an output so we say this tuple is basically a tuple set it returned a result set compared to the previous one which is returning only a single row that is the difference between tuple and tuple set let us see another example i have one more example already written here now what do we see in this example on axis 1 i see two tuples this is tuple 1 this is tuple 2 so this is somewhat like in sql statement i can put together multiple statements in a union there are certain rules that govern what you can and what you cannot do similarly in the later sessions we'll see that uh, what are the rules uh, that we need to follow when we put multiple tuples on an axis now let me run this statement and see what we get as an output what we had done in these two tuples is on an axis as again a geography country attribute and children but in the products i had specified as accessories i am repeating them in the second tuple the attributes geography and country but in this case product category is uh, referring to bikes so i see in australia as a country accessories is this amount canada accessories is this amount then i see in second tuple on that axis returns australia what are the bikes canada what is the sale of bikes and so on the other difference you will note here compared to the sql statement is we don't have explicitly mentioned the join statement even when we are pulling some data from different uh, dimensions so i'm getting country from geography dimension i'm getting category from the product dimension but this whole statement doesn't have anywhere an explicit join statement the other thing to notice is i cannot add an empty tuple empty tuples cannot be added which means i cannot do something like if i want to delete this this is not valid i cannot run this statement it will just throw an error empty tuples are not allowed but empty sets are allowed if i all together remove this tuple from here and i just keep keep an empty set now i run this statement it's showing me the results but because i am not referring to any majors you know attribute so i get an empty set to sum it up in this video we looked at what is a dimension what are major groups what are attributes children members tuple and tuple set in the next video we will cover the remaining items of this topic